Oh guys, it appears I hit the jackpot. And soon, I possibly could be coming home with two free motors. I'll tell you that in a minute. Well, this week, we have had a clean out of our shop at school of a bunch of old machine sanders and lades. One of the sanders I completely took apart, and I've gotten a lot of stuff out of um, the sanders so far. This here, we'll start off here. I got these cool little three-phase contactors. Very nice wiring job on them. This uh, the red one here got a bit messed up. Well, not contactors, excuse me. I mean terminal blocks. Two nice little terminal blocks. This is a contactor. A uh, four-pole contactor. Works. Tested it. Awesome. I got that out. I got this control transformer. And the cool thing about this is that it's all AC. So you put 24 volts in here and all of these taps become live to common. So that means you can get 115, you can get 200, you can get 230 volts, you can get 400 or 460 volts, all single phase to common. But it's limited to 1.6 amp. So, that's great. I'll probably end up destroying some small light bulbs with this, especially on 460. Um, this, this is just some heavy duty... Uh, BX, no wires inside, but uh, I'm putting, well, I don't know if I'm going to put a heater up or else I'm going to install the heater in with my air handler I'm going to build, as you know, but this is definitely going to be for the 10 gauge wire I'll run, so I'll probably run this to the junction, I mean the uh, knife switch, and use that because this is some good heavy stuff. This came off the lathe. These came out of a sander. This right here is just a bunch of old, um, cable, I mean, uh, you know, cord that came off um, some old power tools they were getting rid of, and there's a lot of it here, which is good, still good cord, so I got that, and then I got two nice big um, three-phase cords, these came off one of the sanders, one of these is single-phase, actually, I think it's this one, and one of these is three-phase, but either way, they're all four wires, so you could use um, for three-phase, and they're all 12-gauge wires, also stranded copper. So those are just some of the things I picked up from shop that I'm uh, very happy about. And I hope I get these two motors. One is a three-phase uh, quarter-horse motor. And, I mean, a three-fourths, you know, quarter-horse motor. And the other one is a one-horsepower single-phase motor, which I cleaned up and everything. Um, basically, all i got to do is ask the principal and take it from there. And to be honest with you, they're going to throw him out anyway. And if he says no... I'm going to tell Mr. Ramson, I put the motor back. When they throw the tools out, I got the motor in the hiding spot, so I'll keep it there until things calm down after all of the old sanders and everything are thrown out. And then when he's not looking, I'll stuff it in my book bag and take it home with me. And I'm not going to let them throw out a perfectly good working motor. So if it comes to that, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm getting that motor here either way. So um, anyway, my other friend... He took the motor without knowing the other three-phase one. He got in trouble, so he has to bring it back on Monday. But you're going to see a video of us running it off of the VFD on the weekend. So if he comes tomorrow, and you got a video, and we'll show you that motor. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, Mike out. And they're throwing it all out anyway, so I don't see how it's stealing. But uh, thank you for watching, and Mike out.